And let's go over to China and talk about that government is strict and very tough. Because let's just be honest, don't lie to me. Social media pressure gets to you. It certainly gets. You just scroll and you see, you know, your the content creators are traveling across the world, you know, to countries you've never even had exist. Okay, they're living very, very good lives. They're using expensive stuff. You're like, what am I going to do to make this amount of cash? And that is where evil thoughts start finding their ways into your head. And then you get arrested. I saw the other day there's this man who actually on a YouTube video admitted to conning people when he was starting out. I'm just wondering, how is he not behind bars? Because obviously he's admitting to a crime. All right. So in China, they are banning something called wealth flaunting behavior on social media. It gets crazy because the pressure here is wasa, wasa than any other country. So online influencers known for their luxurious, you know, lifestyles are now disappearing from Chinese social media um, in the middle of a government crackdown on conspicuous displays of wealth. Now, let me explain just how crazy it is. There's one called Wang Hongkan. He says he has so much money, okay, and he doesn't step out of his house without an outfit worth 1.38 million US dollars. That's over 140 million Kenya shillings. I mean, I know that is not possible. Just one outfit, you're wearing 140. I mean, even Bill Gates cannot do that. Even, what's his name, Elon Musk cannot do that. It's obvious that you're just certain, you know, sort of like creating this huge immense of pressure to people. And Chinese government is saying, pull up, pull up, pull up, pull up. That's not going to happen. That is not going to happen. Do you think it's about time this pressure simmers down? And it's not the content creators who are supposed to simmer down. The government, they just come through and say, wait, the depression rate is high. The suicide rate is high. People feel like uh, they're useless in their young age. And, you know, um, they don't want to do anything because it's not giving them a lot of cash to buy expensive cars, uh, expensive, you know, outfits. So they decide as a content creator, what, a, what a KFCB was trying to do. You know, that exactly because they wanted content to be licensed. 